Audio engineering is a growing need in games, and dialogue is an even more specialized subset of that. As a game developer, what you want to do is sell a world. And you can sell a world better if you can imagine and build those worlds faster. I think that's where Poly shows its power. Your cinematics, your scripted events, all the pieces are moving at the same time. So there's a lot of work that gets done with placeholders. What Lumberyard is offering is the ability for developers to dynamically, in real time, uh, produce voices. They can select for a character that they've created, which language, which voice. They can input the text and they can immediately hear what the speech output is. I have used text-to-speech uh, suites in the past, but it's never been as rich or as uh, useful as what is available in Poly. So the big advantage of having this being a cloud-based service is that the content may be modified uh, in real time. You literally enter text and you get out speech. Must have been the wind. We also offer a variety of features that allow you to modify that speech. But then you have access to the SSML syntax, which will let you override these characteristics of the voice. There he is. It's nice to have the ability to say, don't include this information or pronounce this name this particular way. The other portion of this tool that is very exciting is lip sync. Lip sync or facial animation is so easy to overdo, so easy to exaggerate. If we can automate that whole phase of production that requires so many talented animators, we could have them focus on differentiating gameplay experiences or awesome cinematics. Having the poly service available to generate lip sync, to rapidly prototype, these are all features that as an audio programmer I don't have to worry about anymore. We hear what customers are asking for uh, and it inspires us to work harder to focus on those things. Our time is precious. The more tools that we're given, the better off we are in developing other more rich, customized features.